A day like this takes preparation. For veteran Victor Needham Crofton, it also takes decorum even if his Platinum Jubilee journey was just to the television. I do love the Queen and the Royal Family. No doubt about that. All my life, my parents idolised the Queen and uh, I guess that sort of thing rubs off on you. There's more to it. 70 years ago today, this was Crofton, a member of the Inniskilling Fusiliers, assigned to line the mall for the Queen's coronation. It was cold, rainy and wonderful. Like you saw today, the atmosphere. Yeah. Everyone wanted to get hold of you and give you a hug and, and all that. <laughs> it was really good. He will never forget where he stood. S somewhere down there. Or the kind woman who offered a cup of tea. She said, I'll hold your rifle <laughs> and I'll pass it <laughs> up to you. And I was sipping this cup of tea. Oh, and it was magnificent. Best thing that ever I tasted. <laughs> so today, from the moment the marching began, Victor and Thelma, married for 66 years, held on to it all. The colours for a regiment is most important. If you wondered today whether the moment has meaning for the soldiers who take part, think of Crofton, keeping his eye especially on the Queen. Oh, she dressed nice, is not she? Always. Yeah. It's been a hard few years. COVID's isolation hasn't been kind. They didn't see children or grandchildren. The world shifts, feeling like a blur. But in this moment, he sees stability. I'm thinking good things about if and when she goes mm -hmm. and her son takes over. That could be some sort of a turning point. You're ready to accept Charles? I mean, oh, not yeah. ready, but you would accept yeah. Charles? and Camilla. I'll, I'll accept both of them. Wow. <laughs> Loyal to the core and for a day, nostalgic and optimistic, and grateful for both. <laughs>